Good evening, good evening, good evening. This is the Minister M.L. Kimball coming to you live. I am very thankful and appreciative of all of our support. Thank you guys for com coming to our channel. If you have not got a chance yet, please like, share, and subscribe to this YouTube uh, channel over at Word on the Street with the Minister M.L. Kimball. Uh, if you are with me tonight, I want you to get your Bible out. This is the bottom line. We don't talk about any feelings. We don't talk about how anybody feels, how anybody thinks. We discuss the scripture. So the reality of it is, I don't care how you feel or what your daddy said, your mama said, what you were preached, what you heard at church. I want you to get your Bible out. And the reality is, I'm going to pull up the scripture, we're going to look at it, we're going to go through it, we're going to discuss it, and if you have a comment or anything you want to say, jump in the inbox, comment, message me, visit us online, let's go. Uh, let me share my screen so we can pull up where we left off last time. And where we were last time, we were looking at the prophet Ezra. This is one of those other sneaky books that they removed out of the scripture. Somebody has to explain to me how you are able to remove scripture and tell us that they don't matter. I have a problem with that. Maybe you don't have a problem with it. That's because you've been scamified your whole entire life. You've been told what you think is right, and you don't have enough strength to pull up the scripture yourself and understand that there have been plenty of scams put in that Bible, and you don't want to pay attention to it. But the bottom line is, it's my job to wake you up. If you don't want to listen to me, I don't care. Because the bottom line is, I know the scams, and I'm trying to make you aware, and we're going to look at it together. Second answer, chapter number nine, verse one says, he answered, consider all these things carefully. When you see that some of the things I have told you about have appeared, you will know that the time has come when Yahuwah will bring judgment on the world that he has created. There will be earthquakes, national rebellions, and international intrigues, unstable leaders, and confused rulers. When you see these things happening, you will know that that is what Yahuwah has spoken about since the beginning of creation. Let me stop right there. So he's saying to you, he's saying to me, that since beginning of time, he created a time called judgment. So no matter what you want to say to me about anything, if you don't want to accept the fact that judgment is still coming, then something's wrong with you. He said since beginning of time, if you want to be upset with that, that's not me. I didn't say it. We just read it. He says the beginning and the end of everything that happens in this world are clear. The same is true in the world above. Wonders and miracles show the beginning of events, and mighty signs show when they end. Some people will escape destruction and be saved by their good works or by their faith. All of them will survive the dangers I have described and will enjoy the salvation provided in the land that I have set apart from eternity as my own than those who have ignored my ways. Wait a minute, stop right there. He says, those who have ignored my ways. What are his ways? You need to get back into the scripture where he says, obey my commandments. Those who have ignored my ways and held them in contempt will be surprised when they find themselves in continual torment. So don't start talking to me about there ain't no judgment. Then why is he talking about torment here? This will include all those who ignored me while they were alive, even though they accepted the blessings I gave to them. When you are accepting a blessing from the Most High and you don't want to acknowledge his commandments, he is going to judge you. It will include all those who scorn my law during the time they were free to do so, and all those who refused to repent. 
when they still had the chance. The torment that they will suffer after death will force them to recognize the truth. This is scripture. So if you want to be upset, you want to be mad, then explain to me why this is not being taught in your church. They talk about this glorious blessings and praises and this and that, but nobody wants to deal with judgment. Nobody wants to deal with the fact that if you don't obey, you are not saved. Therefore, Ezra, you should stop asking questions about how the wicked will be punished. Instead, be concerned about how and when the righteous will be saved. So once again, there's only one separation. It's righteous and wicked. The world was created for them and belongs to them. I said I must repeat, and I said before, the lost far outnumber those who are saved. It is like a wave compared with a drop of water. Listen, that is going to conclude my study today. You all need to understand that regardless of what anybody told you, regardless of what anybody said to you, if you are not going to pick up the scripture yourself and read it for yourself, you will be bamboozled every single time. I don't care what they said in the past. You can be upset with me all day long, but I am going to always preach the word the way it was intended to be preached. Every time you log in to this channel, this platform with the minister M.L. Kimball. Until next time, be blessed on purpose.